okay, in this problem, you're being asked to evaluate a function. Here you've got g of x equals 3 over 10 minus 7x. And you want to evaluate this function when x equals 2 and when x equals a minus 3. So it's two separate issues. So the first one we're going to do is when x equals 2. So I can rewrite this g of 2. And what that means is I go to my function, wherever I have an x here, I'm going to plug in 2. So in this case, it's going to be equal to 3 over 10 minus 7 times 2. All right? That is then equivalent to 3 over 10 minus 14. Okay, because 7 times 2 is 14. And that is going to be equal to 3 over negative 4, okay, because 10 minus 14 is negative 4. So my answer is minus 3 fourths. So that is when x equals 2. To figure out what it's equal to when x equals a minus 3, I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to evaluate this function when x equals a minus 3. Once again, I'm going to go to my function, wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a minus 3. So in this case, I get 3 over 10 minus 7 times a minus 3. Okay, all I did was plug in a minus 3 for x. In this particular case, I can, can 10, and now I'm going to distribute the 7. The way I distribute it is multiply every single thing in parentheses by this negative 7. Okay? So first I get negative 7 times a, which is going to give me a negative 7a. And secondly, I get minus 7 times a minus 3, which is going to give me plus 21. All that is in my denominator under 3. And so now all I need to do is combine like terms in my denominator. I got 10 and I've got 21, so that gives me 31, and I've got a minus 7a. And so really, that's my answer there in simplified form. 3 over 31 minus 7a. Let me know if you have any other questions.